part. Good for them. Ben Handelman, thanks very much. Get back on the bus. You can get updates on uh, news and weather anytime from Fox 6. Send it right to your phone. You can sign up for text alerts on fox6now.com. And now to the other big story of the day. History unfolds as the Supreme Court, as justices rules on the Affordable Care Act, allowing the law to stand. Today's decision will not only affect you medically and financially, but the battle surrounding the law politically, well, it's really just begun now, hasn't it? Craig Boswell with the latest from Washington, D.C. In a five to four decision, the Supreme Court upheld the individual mandate that requires most Americans to purchase health insurance or pay a penalty, but upheld it under a different clause of the Constitution than the Obama administration had claimed. We love the Supreme Court upheld the Affordable Care Act, ruling its centerpiece, the individual mandate can remain not under the Commerce Clause, as the Obama administration had argued, but under Congress's tax writing authority. Essentially, the government will be allowed to tax people for not having health insurance. Chief Justice John Roberts was the swing vote, writing a voluminous majority opinion. The court does not express any opinion on the wisdom of the Affordable Care Act. Under the Constitution, that judgment is reserved to the people. President Obama highlighted the provisions in his signature piece of domestic legislation. They can no longer discriminate against children with pre-existing conditions. They can no longer drop your coverage if you get sick. Some provisions have already taken effect, but the mandate begins in 2014. The case now moves from the courtroom to the campaign trail. What the court did today was say that Obamacare does not violate the Constitution. What they did not do was say that Obamacare is good law or that it's good policy. Across the street from the court on Capitol Hill, Democratic lawmakers claimed a victory and reacted quickly to GOP vows to repeal the law. This offers us an opportunity for clarity as to what the, act, the bill is actually about. Republican House leaders say they're more determined than ever. Republican health care reforms will ensure that families and doctors uh, make health care decisions and not bureaucrats here in Washington. The House has set a repeal vote for July 11th, but the Senate is controlled by Democrats, meaning this debate will rage at least until the November election. In Washington, Craig Boswell, Fox News. And state by state, this is important too. Wisconsin's political leaders are weighing in on the landmark case. How does health care move forward in this state? Fox 6's Mike Lowe joins us now with more in the political lowdown.